Which of the Titans is able to quite literally rewrite the fabric of reality on a whim? Over the years, Godzilla has faced down numerous threats that have proven themselves to be far stronger than he is at the moment. Across his battle, he has been overpowered and beaten, but he always manages to rise again and exact justice. There is, however, one Titan that quite literally transcends the bounds of our three-dimensional world and is truly an evil god among men. Today, Heralds of the Titans, let's discuss the version of King Ghidorah that was introduced in Godzilla Earth and talk about why this version of Ghidorah is worlds beyond anything we've seen in the MonsterVerse or any other version of the character, and is quite possibly in contention as one of the greatest and most powerful titans of all time. This version of the False King, much like in the MonsterVerse, is an alien from a distant world, but in this version, he is not just a foreigner to Earth, but to the very dimension. He was first discovered by a race of extraterrestrials known as the Exif Clergy, a colony of pacifists who believed that all life was sacred and forever worthy of being saved. This is what first led them into contact with humanity, sharing technology and ideas from across the cosmos, drastically improving the state of mankind's technological prowess and ushering in an era of peace. What would eventually come to be revealed, though, is that they are actually heralds of their great god, and they assimilate cultures into their society in order to prime a meal for their deity, the Earth King Ghidorah. In the distant past, King Ghidorah all but eradicates the same Exif, and the survivors worship the Destroyer as an entity of tremendous power and unbridled resolve. Eventually, the Metphys, another extraterrestrial race within the same domain, revealed that in comparison to King Ghidorah, Godzilla was not worth fearing, and he was a gnat to this fourth dimensional entity, one which harbored unrivaled power. It is eventually revealed that Godzilla is not unique strictly to Earth, and various other planets have their own version of the King of the Monsters. And yet, every single time without fail, this cosmic Ghidorah feasted on the entirety of their worlds without breaking a sweat. What's so compelling about this Ghidorah is that his physical form is nothing more than an avatar acting on behalf of a fourth dimensional consciousness. And even though his avatar can be defeated, how can anyone stand to kill something that exists outside of space and time? Ghidorah's avatars are cobbled together and crammed into a three-dimensional space in order to make sense and be comprehensible to sentient three-dimensional species. And even this is enough to eradicate entire worlds. His presence distorts the fields of space-time causing both time and space to function differently in Ghidorah's presence. When he concentrates these distortions, however, he unlocks phenomenal cosmic power that cannot be matched. He is able to collapse space into black holes, crushing the fabric of space-time, and he can create singularities on a whim. These allow his physical form to travel between dimensions and exist anywhere in space or time. In a physical fight, he has been known to collapse the gravity of his opponents or the space that surrounds them. If he amplifies the gravity surrounding any perceived threat, then he can create forces powerful enough to destroy entire worlds, ensuring that a petty toddler such as Godzilla cannot do anything against this literal god. In this reality, even Godzilla's deadly atomic breath is neutralized, as Ghidorah can simply warp the reality around him, distorting and dissolving any of Godzilla's energy-based attacks, meaning that by the time the fire of his breath reaches Ghidorah, it no longer exists on this plane of reality. Ghidorah can also ensure that his physical form is intangible whenever something gets too close to him, because after all, it's very difficult for a physical being to attack something that is constantly shifting between dimensions. Godzilla Earth himself sports an asymmetrically permeable shield, one that protects him from most attacks, but Ghidorah is one of the few figures who can penetrate this shield by using these immense abilities. This means that he can cause Godzilla far more physical damage much more easily than other kaiju. This distortion also means that he is only visible to the naked eye and is completely hidden from technology. The closest technology can get to detecting the presence of Ghidorah is measuring gravitational distortions that surround him, giving some civilizations advanced warning of his arrival, but it only gives these societies enough time to hug their families goodbye. 
His manipulation of extra-dimensional electricity means that he can distort electrical fields, creating bolts of lightning, and even entire storms anytime he arrives. He can generate these bolts through his bites, create torrents of thunder and lightning, and use these electrical fields to distort any sort of technology that may be within his vicinity. Though this doesn't extend just to extra-dimensional energy, as he can absorb just about any form of energy. This allows him to siphon energy and heat from the atmosphere, dropping the temperature of a given area to arctic lows in a matter of minutes, and has even fed off of the life energy of the beings that he consumes. Even across dimensions, he can toy with even the most advanced technology, creating an EXIF known as the Garbatrum. This device is an incredibly advanced mathematical algorithm, much more complex than even artificial intelligence. And the EXIF have used this machine to quite literally predict the future based on mathematical probabilities, a gift from their god. Ghidorah, however, is able to short out even this incredibly complex device if he ever wishes. Though since the EXIF are his heralds and loyal followers, he usually leaves them alone. This variant of Ghidorah is far and away the most powerful version of the character that has ever existed, and the very sight of his true form can induce madness in lowly humans. So then, this raises the question, how can anyone ever hope to stop this force of nature, this god? There have been very few times that we've seen this version of Ghidorah be humbled by lowly earth forces, but it has happened. The most prominent way to challenge this Ghidorah is to sever his connection from his heralds. When Ghidorah first arrived in this dimension, it was because his heralds summoned him and opened the door to this reality so that he can simply walk through. If this connection is severed though, then Ghidorah's avatar and his fourth dimensional presence can get separated, and the avatar of Ghidorah is left to its own devices. In this case, it becomes much more closely related to the more grounded versions of Ghidorah that we know, and is actually relatively easily killed by Godzilla. What's important to note though, is that the fourth dimensional presence still exists. He just loses access to his heralds of this reality, and this herald is now vulnerable. As for the Titan himself, the one who is many, and the harbinger of darkness, there is little hope for anyone that stands against this truly godly form. But anyway, my friends, what are your thoughts on the highlight of this Earth Ghidorah, or this version of God Ghidorah? Is this the most powerful version of the character? And is this the most powerful kaiju? Is there anyone that truly stands in his weight class? And do you think that any titan from the monsterverse could ever reach this level of power? And if so, who can take his crown? Thank you so much my friends for stopping by and watching the video today. Hit that subscribe button for updates on the monsterverse and superhero lore, and have a great one.